Zombie Apocalypse. Hello everyone, welcome back to Eco Talks with Sneha Manerikar. In today's session, we'll discuss few questions from the new chapter that is statistics. So let us start the session with our first question. What is the maximum number of possible outcome when two dice are rolled simultaneously? A25, B35, C16, D36. Answer is D36. When we roll single die, we get uh, six possible outcomes. That is one, two, three, four, five, or six. However, when we roll two dice, the number will be, total number of outcome will be 36. Every time you add the additional die, the number of possible outcome will be multiplied by 6. So, if we uh, take two dice simultaneously, then it will be 6 raised to 2, that is 36. The height of the student in a college is a discrete variable, B, continuous variable, C, constant, D, qualitative variable. Answer is B, continuous variable. Continuous variable is a variable which takes a continuous value in a particular interval. Then, number of mistakes in Xerox is A, continuous variable, B, discrete variable, D, qualitative variable, D, quantitative variable. Answer is B, discrete variable. Number of mistakes in Xerox is example for discrete variable. Now, discrete variable is a variable which can take only certain values. It jumps from one value to another value. That is, it does not take the value in between the two numbers. In fractions, it will be having the whole number. Like example, 30, 35. Whereas, opposite case is continuous variable, which take any value in the particular limit. It increases in the fractions. We can give the value in the decimal. Example for continuous variables is, height, weight, age of family members, etc. Then a measure based on sample data is known as A. Statistic B. Parameter C. Census D. None of the above Answer is A. Statistic Sample data measures are called as statistic. Then measure based on population is known as A. Parameter B. Statistic C. Census D. All of the above Answer is a parameter population measures are known as parameter an example for parameter is a population standard deviation b sample mean c population mean d both a and c answer is d both a and c population standard deviation and population mean are example for the parameter that is population estimates an example of statistic is Sample mean, sample variance, population mean, both A and B. Answer is both A and B. Sample mean and population mean, sorry, sample mean and sample variance are the example for statistics. That is the estimates of the sample. Now here are the uh, symbols of population parameters and corresponding sample statistics. Like mean of population is called as mu, whereas mean of sample is called as x bar or sample mean. Likewise, variance is sigma square for in case of population and s square in case of sample statistics. Next question is, Z test statistic is used for testing A, large sample mean, B, small sample mean, C, variance, D, none of the above. Answer is large sample. When there are sample is large, that is more than 30, then Z test statistic is used to compare the sample mean. Then T st test statistic is used for A, large sample mean, B, small sample mean, C, variance, D, none of the above. Answer is small sample mean. When sample is less than 30, size of sample is less than 30, we use T test statistics to compare the mean of the sample. Here are the various test statistics used for various different purposes. Now, like T and Z are used for comparing means. T is used in case of small samples and Z is used in case of large sample. Then while comparing two sample variants, we use F test. While comparing one sample to specified variants, we use chi-square test. Then chi-square test is also used for determining the interdependence and goodness of fit. Where qualitative terms are involved, we use chi.
chi square test then estimating a process proportion and comparing two sample proportions again we use the z test the next question is the range of correlation coefficient is a minus 1 to plus 1 b 1 to infinity c minus 1 to 0 d none of the above answer is minus 1 to 1 the range of correlation coefficient is minus 1 to 1 now correlation coefficient shows the strength and direction of correlation if correlation coefficient is negative and it's minus 1 then it, it is called as strong negative correlation whereas it, when it is plus 1 it is called as positive correlation when we move from 0 to 1 it we uh, the correlation will move from weak to strong more the value of correlation coefficient towards 1 it is strong correlation then mode of the given numbers that is 1 2 3 4 and 12 is a unimodal b no mode c bimodal d multimodal answer is no mode the definition of mode is highest number repeated in the given data here no number is repeated so for this given data there is no mode next question is average speed at which a journey has been performed is calculated by a median b harmonic mean c mode d arithmetic mean answer is b harmonic mean Where to calculate average speed we use harmonic mean now harmonic mean is the Me number of variables divided by the sum of the reciprocal of variables. That is, it is reciprocal of the arithmetic mean, and such harmonic mean is used to calculate ratios such as speed. So uh, this is the application of harmonic mean. Next question is: Mean deviation is least if deviations are taken from a median, b mean, c mode, d standard deviation. Answer is median. when we take deviations from median our mean deviation will be minimum next question is mathematical average includes arithmetic mean that is am hm harmonic means c geometric mean that is gm and d all of the above answer is all of the above the averages are classified into two mathematical averages and positional average mathematical averages includes arithmetic mean geometric mean and harmonic mean whereas positional average includes median and mode next question is the square root of means of the square deviation from arithmetic mean is a standard deviation b mean deviation c quartile deviation d coefficient of variance answer is standard deviation the formula of standard deviation is square root of summation of x minus x bar square divided by n where x is the each value of data set and x bar is the mean of all values in data set and n is the number of values in the data set this is the formula of standard deviation then positional average includes a mode b median c both a and b d none of the above answer is both a and b positional averages determine the position of the variable in a given set then these includes median mode and partition values like quartile decile and percentile these all are positional averages then absolute measure of dispersion includes a standard deviation b coefficient of variation c arithmetic mean d geometric mean answer is standard deviation absolute measures are the measures of dispersion expressed in same unit in which data of series is given so measures of dispersion are classified as absolute measures and relative measures in that absolute measures are measures of dispersion expressed in same unit as that of data and relative measures of dispersion are expressed in the percentage or ratio they are usually called as coefficient of dispersion absolute measures includes range quartile deviation mean deviation and standard deviation a next question is relative measure of dispersion includes a standard deviation b coefficient of variance and c both a and b d none of the above answer is b coefficient of variation relative measures of dispersion includes 
coefficient of range coefficient of quartile deviation coefficient of mean deviation and coefficient of variation these are the relative measures of dispersion next question is for positively skewed distribution a mean is greater than median greater than mode b mean is less than median less than mode c mean is equal to median is equal to mode d all of the above answer is a for positively skewed distribution mean is greater than median greater than mode this is shown in here in the graph here mean is greater than median greater than mode this is the graph of positively skewed distribution and next question is for negatively skewed distribution a mean is greater than median greater than mode b mean is greater than sorry mean is less than median less than mode c mean is equal to median is equal to mode d all of the above answer is b for negatively skewed distribution mean is less than median less than mode this is shown here in the graph you can see here mean is less than median less than mode here mode is greater then both the other uh, mean and median that's all about today's session if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section or message me on telegram group eco talks don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you <laughs>